Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video we discuss the bandwidth and interpolation settings in the Harmonic Options Advanced tab. This is a continuation from Harmonic Advanced Settings Part 1 which covered the frequency point option in the Harmonic Options Advanced tab. Let's go to the properties of the study, Harmonic Options tab, and click the Advanced Options button. Here we've entered 5 for the number of solution steps on either side of the natural frequency. Here's a line graph showing the meaning of the bandwidth setting. The bandwidth is centered around each structure natural frequency, in this case Fi with the red arrow. If you take half the difference between that frequency and the next, and half the difference between that frequency and the one below, you end up with these values spanning the two blue arrows. The sum of these two values is called the bandwidth around that frequency, shown as Bi. The software defaults to using 40% of this value on each side of the center frequency for the option labeled as bandwidth around each frequency. For example, suppose a low frequency is 7 Hz and the center frequency is 15 Hz. The next highest frequency is 30 Hz. We calculate 40% of the bandwidth on the high side. This is 40% of 30 minus 15 divided by 2, or 3 Hz. Now calculate 40% of the bandwidth on the low side, or 40% of 15 minus 7 divided by 2, which is 1.6 Hz. So the starting point is 15 minus 1.6, or 13.4 Hz, and the end point is 15 plus 3, or 18 Hz. This is the 40% bandwidth calculation range around that frequency. We'll zoom in to show the calculation points. Recall we used 5 calculation points on each side of a natural frequency. For the interpolation scheme, the default logarithmic option indicated on the graphic shows roughly where the calculation points are located. You can see there is good clustering near the center frequency. This graph shows a vibration amplitude response at a point on a structure. The number of points for each frequency is set to 10, and the interpolation scheme has logarithmic spacing on either side of a structure resonant vibration frequency. The clustering of the point spacing is desirable near response frequencies that have large amplitude, so you will capture the response adequately. Notice that more points may be needed to capture the response in locations where the curve is not as smooth. If we switch the interpolation scheme to the linear option, the calculation points are evenly distributed on either side of the center frequency. With this option, it might be possible to miss response behavior just outside the center frequency, say about here. In this video, we discuss the bandwidth and interpolation settings in the Harmonic Options Advanced tab.